Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? Please come to the podium. Yes, sir. We did 3947-041 North, directly south of this thing. I heard the word fence. That's, that's my question. Did I get a fence between that Dollar General and my property? Go back to that. You did this your way. That one you had for a minute ago. No, yeah. no that right there. Right. This your way. That, the solid black. Yeah, there is. The, it says six six foot fence. I've never seen this. If I had seen it, I wouldn't be bothered with it. Okay. Would staff like to? Yes, yes, uh, yes, sir. They're proposing. Uh, I believe a opaque fence and a buffer along your property line. Yeah, okay. So yeah. with this development, and they're proposing that, they're actually be required to construct that buffer. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. It'll be a, it's a county requirement. Yes, ma'am. A buffer is required. Fence is not required. Thank you, thank you. Um, but a buffer is required. A fence can be placed as a condition of a or recommendation. What's a buffer then? A a buffer. Buffer. A buffer consists of, in this case, it would be a 30-foot buffer, and within that 30-foot wide buffer, they have to plant so many trees, so many shrubs. I love that. Um, <laughs> I would have a I've got plenty of trees to cut now. <laughs> Is that a driveway, that 24-foot driveway? Or yes. is that just somebody's dream for the future? That's proposed to be a, a driveway that will step out to your property. My property? Yes. Come across my property? No, it'll just go right up to the property line. So if in the future that's a county requirement for that cross access, so that you can have cars, if and when your property changes, if it ever changes to something other than residential, then that those cars will be able to travel between the parking lots rather than having to get back on the 41 and coming back out to the road and doing a U-turn or a left turn back movement. And uh, what about the parking lot? Lights at night, mm -hmm. shining in the bedroom, you know. Is there a condition on some kind of blockage for that? If, if it ever comes through. Yes, sir. Ms. Carmelo, I don't know if we have any supplemental standards to talk about lighting for this use. It doesn't, however, our parking requirements does require the lights to be, to shine inward for okay. the park. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you all. Thank if, you. If the commission wanted to go further on that condition, we've done that in the past, but on this one, only the parking brakes would apply. What would you be okay. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this application? Any other person? My name is Josh Hopsteller. I live at 501 Limousine Lane in Thomasville, Georgia. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know specific, specifically regarding your tenants. Um, I spoke to the owner of the property that we plan to purchase this from. Um, the five lots to the north, they are supplied with wells and septic. Um, and for the remaining owners, um, I just want you guys to feel confident that we are going to take care of them. I can't guarantee that we can cover every uh, expense that they have. I mean, they want to move to 10 acres and you know, have us fund that. That's just not feasible. So as long as any request is within reason, we're, we're going to be more than happy to help them. And if there's any other questions that you guys may have regarding the development, I'd be happy to answer those as well. Just, if I may, just, we know some of the people that live in there, and some of them are elderly. Yes, sir. And we're just concerned about how they're going to get moved and shuffled around out here. And we're not asking anything unreasonable, and they're not either, from what yes, I understand. Yes, sir. We're not concerned because we know some of these people. Yes, sir. And I, I feel the same way, honestly. Okay. Um, a similar situation, we built a store in Homosassa, Florida. Um, that was also a mobile home park. Mm -hmm. um, we actually relocated some of them to Missouri, um, but where they're, they had more family. So we are, we will take that into account. And within reason, we will help them out as much as we possibly can. Don't you know what, what within reason is? Uh, yeah, again, I, it's, it's hard to answer that. Um, if they wanted to relocate to several acres on a pond, um, you know, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not talking about acquiring the property for I'm just... Yes, sir. Um, something <laughs> um, I believe there are several other parts within a close proximity that will have well and septic um, supplied. That's that's a reasonable situation for us to help them out to relocate. So, so I think that the, the figure that Mr. Nye included was about $1,500 per resident. Mm -hmm. so, so you would not have any problem to have that attached to as a condition that you pay up to $1,500? That, that is fine. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not sure if we can make it in this, this, is, this is the place for that. Um, we're you can. We're just trying to figure out how it would require Terramore to. I mean, you, yeah. the commission That's can. On. We're just trying to figure out how to put some teeth in that to where staff yeah. could. But and it's, it's, it's on public record, and my word is good. I really promise that. In terms of zoning conditions, that might be an awkward mm -hmm. condition to run with. I, I think we're in a gray area here, you know, because, you know, our purview is to make land use decisions. This is clearly not a land use decision. We're supposed to look at these cases solely on the basis of whether or not this is an appropriate land use. And when we start getting into personal feelings and personal relationships and bring that here, it's not the place for that. It's, that's out of our purview. We should be looking at the land use, is it appropriate, and then make our decision based solely on that. And we will take care of that. Okay. Thank Even you. It's not on record. Thank you. Guys. Okay. Anyone else in the audience would like to speak in favor of the application? Okay. Is there anyone else in the audience that would, would like to speak in opposition of the application? Okay. Discussion from the commission. No discussion? Now I will entertain a motion. Madam Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that um, we approve this request to move this property approximately 2.1 acres from plan development to general commercial zoning. Motion by Chairman Wild, second. Do I hear a second? Second by Chairman Hall. All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. Okay, motion carries as approved unanimously. Okay. 